Elugu just released the Neptune 4 and 4 Pro, an iteration on the Neptune 3 Pro, which I believe to be one of the best value printers currently on the market. And to be honest with you, I didn't know how they were going to improve it, but they have. This is the Neptune 4 and 4 Pro. They come with clipper pre-installed and boast print speeds of up to 500 millimeters per second at a budget-friendly cost of 259 and 299 respectively. And just to get this out of the way, the difference between the 4 and 4 Pro are these metal wheels as opposed to traditional V-slot wheels, a segmented print bed with an inner and outer heating zone to save energy use while printing small things in the center of the bed, and the top part of the frame is aluminum extrusion and not injection molded like the non-pro model. If you have the extra $40, I'd recommend the Pro just for the more rigid rails alone. Everything from here on out is the same for both printer models. It has a larger heat block and longer nozzle that puts its max volumetric flow rate somewhere between a normal V6 and a volcano hot end. This is crucial for faster printing. Along with the LED light bar on the top of the machine, there's new LEDs built into the tool head, which is great for getting a closer look at prints in progress. The first thing I did when I received this machine was open the bottom up. I wanted to see how they integrated Clipper into this. Here we can see an all-in-one board, which houses the traditional printer electronics, but under this green heatsink, there's an ARM-based quad-core processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. We can also see the eight gigabytes of onboard storage here. Pretty cool to see it neatly packed onto one board like this. On the front of the machine, we have a female USB, a micro SD card slot, and a type C connector. You can print files using a thumb drive, a micro SD card, or from the internal storage. Back on the board, we can also see a USB header for connecting additional peripherals like an accelerometer for use with input shaping. On the side of the printer is an ethernet port to connect the fluid front end to your local network. There's no Wi-Fi here, but Elegoo has said that you can connect a Wi-Fi module for that. I'm also pretty sure you could use a cheap Wi-Fi dongle here too, if you have some experience with Linux. On the back of the X-axis gantry is an injection molded part that houses four 4020 blower fans, pumping out some serious external part cooling. The bones of the Neptune 3 Pro are still here, with a touch screen, auto bed leveling, dual Z-axis steppers, removable PEI coated bed, filament runout sensor, and a direct drive extruder. Once the machine is on your network, you can obtain the printer's IP address in the About menu on the machine and navigate to the Fluid interface by typing it into any web browser on the network. Here we can send G-code files, use a host of calibration commands, or monitor prints with a connected webcam. And yes, I tested it, the front USB can be used for a webcam. Now this isn't a review, it's simply a first look, but I do want to go ahead and print a few of the G-codes that come with the machine, just to give you an idea of print quality here. First is their fast benchy. This took 17 minutes to complete, which is just incredible. Next, a small flower pot. This was a two hour print, but I stopped it about halfway through. A small tool holder thing that took about one hour to print. And finally, a 30 minute Buddha. Here's my initial take on the Neptune 4. They've done something really cool here. 
If you have no experience with Clipper, that's fine. Just assemble the machine and use it as you normally would any Marlin machine. Slicing files to the SD card or thumb drive and printing them at a higher speed. It's been pre-tuned so you get all the benefits of Clipper without having to dig deep into the calibration and tuning. But when you're ready to dive into Clipper, there's a lot of performance and customization to be had within the Clipper firmware and fluid interface. Huge shout out to Elegoo for sponsoring this video and sending these machines to take a look at. As of today, these machines are on pre-sale, so head over to the Elegoo storefront using the link in the description. I've only had these printers for a few days and plan to do a lot more testing, so hit subscribe if you're interested in that. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.